Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So, last weekend, Hypixel hosted a Blitz Survival Games tournament on their server. And I actually played in this and got the number one position and my teammate got number two. But a few minutes before they released their awards, I was wiped and, as far as people know, banned from the server permanently. So today I'm going to be clearing everything up and explaining the context behind this situation. Before we start though, please watch the entire video before joining the mob of people hunting me because I actually have a pretty valid explanation. Anyway, without any further delay, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so what I'm going to do is structure this video in like an old leafy style with title cards and stuff to make the situation easier to understand. This is probably like the biggest drama thing that's happened on Hypixel in a very, very long time, so I just want to at least explain it properly, and if you guys want to talk about it in the comments, I'd be pretty interested to see what like people's general thoughts on this are. Also, the gameplay that you guys are going to see throughout this video is highlights from my best tournament games, in case you guys are wondering. For people who don't know, I'm actually a PvP player, and I used to be number one on the UHC leaderboards, which is like known as one of the hardest games on Hypixel, so. So if you're wondering why some random skyblock guy just got number one in the tournament, or at least had number one in the tournament, then that's why. But yeah, anyway, let's begin, I guess. Okay, so first of all, I just want to clear up. I'm not banned from Hypixel, and I didn't lose my YouTube rank either. But my number one tournament position and my teammate's number two tournament position were both wiped, and we didn't keep any of our stats from this weekend, so... Yeah, I just want to say I respect the admin's decision, and this video's only purpose is to clear my name because so many people on Twitter, including other YouTubers, are just spreading completely false information. People are saying that I b-hopped, used kill aura, used like a glitch to hide and draw the games, and literally none of those are true at all. The owner of Hypixel let me know what the two reasons behind this happening was, and the two reasons are, my teammate's main account is currently banned. Now the big controversy of this video is that the mod who actually banned him thinks that it was false, and I also think it's false. And number two is because my teammate told a b-hopper to kill another b-hopper. But that's also kind of controversial as well, because my teammate also asked the b-hopper to just leave, and he did it, so he didn't actually get anything out of it. So he actually just got punished for the chat logs. Also, after this video, please don't form a mob in the other direction, because in this video, I'm basically going to be dismantling Hypixel's replay systems, so it's going to be kind of a big deal. But Hypixel are doing their best, and treated me super respectfully when I asked what was going on, so if anything, please only give them constructive criticism. Yeah, now let's get into the next part about my teammate. Okay, I played the tournament with my friend Sean, who was playing on the account Undockable. He's a good friend of mine that's on the Blitz leaderboards with over 140k kills, and about 50 days ago, he was manually banned by a moderator while playing Blitz. The footage that the mod used to ban him was about 20 seconds of replay system footage, which after this tournament, people have noticed has a couple of issues. So what you guys are seeing right now is a 240 FPS recording of a replay being played. As you can see, all of the players' movements are really jumpy, and they're stopping and starting. And as I mentioned earlier, Minecraft servers run at 20 ticks per second, so Hypixel can update the NPCs 20 times every second. So this basically means that Hypixel replays are just them taking a screenshot of the game 20 times every second. So if you guys look at this guy turning his head around, it looks like he snapped it in the replay. Now in games like Blitz and Skywars, where players can have speed too, this creates some obvious issues because players are moving really fast and there's so many mechanics in Minecraft that slow and speed up players, like when you're getting a combo you slow down, and when you get hit you move backwards as well. This is the replay footage that the mod used to ban him, but luckily he was recording his perspective at the time because he's also a YouTuber. And you can just see very very clearly that they don't match up at all and the movement is completely like messed up. And if you watch this through it looks like he's cheating right, like 4 blocks away, not even looking at him, like crazy hacker right? But notice how this just doesn't match up at all if you guys watch his first person perspective. And I'm gonna prove to you guys why there's no way that this could be misplaced either because the way misplaced works is it brings the player closer to you, but it's messed up his movement. I have 3 examples of players getting combos with speed right now and in all of them, the actual player who's getting the combo is always in the wrong place. I'm guessing it's some kind of issue to do with Hypixel tracking player movement. So basically what he does is he puts the two clips side by side and just shows that they're in completely different places. But I'll show you guys why it can't be misplaced. So he runs up. As you can see he's in the center of this block right here but he unpauses it for one second. But you can see he's clearly on the slabs and then runs even further when he gets this hit here. But you can see he's just not really far away at all. So then he pauses the replay on that exact same frame. And as you can see right here, he's looking in a completely different direction, and both of them aren't in the same place, like this Puddles guy isn't above the slab like he should be, Sean should be facing a completely different direction, and he should be slightly further forward. So this is the two hits side by side, you can see he's right next to the stained clay here, but in this clip, he's very far away from the stained clay. But I have a way better example right here from a bird's eye view where you can literally count the blocks, so take a look at this. This right here is the first person perspective of the fight, so the dude gets a combo, he hits him with the bow straight away, there we go, he hits him with the bow, and then starts W tapping, and hits him like that. Now this exact frame right here is the hit that looks crazy in the replay. So just remember where both of them are in relation to the pistons. So as you can see, he runs up, 
moves to the right, and he's exactly one block away from the pistons, maybe slightly less. And this dude is diagonal to this piston. Now if you guys look at the replay right here, you'll see that that exact hit looks ridiculous. Like, there's a good two and a half blocks between the player and the piston, and this dude is in pretty much the exact same place. And that's probably because it only messes up the movement of the player who's actually getting the combo. So if you guys just look side by side one more time, I'll play the clip on the right, and he gets the combo. The player's in the exact same place, but the guy who's getting the combo is in the wrong place. Anyway, here's the final one. So this is a triple perspective piece of evidence. Halbert is me. This is a guy who's streaming Blitz at the time. And then obviously we have the replay clip too. So this guy's running after me and he hits me from like four blocks away. Literally crazy, like one, two, three, and then I'm on the fourth block. And now here's the comparison from the guy's first person perspective. So as you can see, the hit that was like four blocks away just isn't. Like he's literally one block away from the edge. There's another one right here where he's looking in a completely different direction as well. Just take a look at this. And it should be right. Yeah, there we go. So you can see right here, he's looking way over to the left. And this right here is the hit where it looks like he's looking in a completely different direction. So if you watch closely, he gets the hit, moves to the left slightly because he has kind of shaky aim, and then looks back at me. But in the replay, he's looking way over here and hitting me from like four blocks away. And again, in the stud clip, this player behind me also has speed and it just completely messes up his movement. Luckily in this clip, the blocks are all different. So you can see so clearly here where the players are actually standing and how different the actual like positions are. So now take a look at the hit right turn and rod. So he hits me when he's in line with like this lower slab thing and I'm one block in front of the rows. You can't really see it until I turn around, but you can see quite clearly I'm standing on the cobblestone. So I'll show you from one more different angle. You can see the hit happens when he's basically in line with this slab thing, and I'm way over there. Now look at this hit from his perspective. So basically, he's right next to the pillar. Like, just to show you guys one more time, he chases me down and hits me like that. So he's basically just been moved back, and it makes it look like he's using reach when he's not. So after Sean recorded this 12-minute video, I DM'd the mod who banned him on the forum, showing him the footage, and the mod replied saying that he's positive that Sean will get unbanned, and that it seemed to be insufficient evidence. The moderator then replied a week later, saying that the appeals team say that there's nothing wrong with the replay system, and that there's nothing else that he can do because mods don't have permission to unban people. I then spoke to an admin who suggested that the mod should just unban him, but unfortunately they don't have perms to do that, so he stayed banned until the tournament. Also, this ban was 90 days, even though it was his first cheating ban ever, and usually they should be 30 days. The admin told me that it was 3 times as long because he got a cross-teaming warning a couple of days before. I have no idea how that correlates, and it's so unlucky that his ban was 90 days, because he would have been unbanned way in time for the tournament. I also showed this evidence to two other mods in the server, and they all said that they think Sean is legit. And yeah, that's pretty much it for explaining the context behind his ban. <laughs> After this, I looked through the Hypixel rules, and there was nothing against ban evading, so I thought since the mod who literally banned him said it was false, it wouldn't matter if me and him played together. Now I just want to confirm, ban evading is definitely bannable, and this is the reason why I got wiped from the tournament. If you're banned, you can get punished harder by playing on your main, so don't do it, but it would have been cool if Hypixel were a bit more clear about this. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time that anyone's been banned for ban evading on Hypixel, and his reason doesn't even say ban evading, it says boosting, but that's what Simon told me, so. Yeah, one thing I do find kind of disappointing is how players are so outraged that like, he ban evaded even though he played the tournament legit. Like, people will literally purchase multiple ults and b-hop on them all the time and have tons of friends who do that, and then just denounce me as a person for a ban evading teammate. Like, I'm literally not complaining about the punishment. I am complaining about the initial situation that I was in, but I'm not really asking for anything back from Hypixel. Obviously, ideally, I'd like them to say that Sean's ban was false in the first place and unban him because he still has, like, 60 days left. But yeah, basically, that's the reason why I think the replay system is inaccurate. I don't think Sean should have been banned, and neither does the mod who did it. And even if he did deserve to be banned and was cheating, it should have only been 30 days, and we should have been fine to play the tournament because the admins looked into our team more than anyone else on the server, and they didn't find any sus clips of us boosting or cheating throughout the entire tournament. Obviously that's why we were the final ban before they released the rewards, and that's why we didn't get banned like days earlier. <laughs> And I mentioned this in the intro, so this is the second reason why we were actually wiped. When I spoke to the owner of Hypixel, he said that we got proof that your teammate was asking hackers to kill people for him. And I didn't remember this, so I was looking through my footage to find out where this happened. And Simon was right, but the context of this makes it completely different. In public chat of a lobby that was taking ages to fill, my teammate said, can you dodge to the bee hopper? But the bee hopper didn't leave, so my teammate said, can you kill blue strips? And blue strips was a guy who was on the leaderboards, and he was using the most insane hacks. Like, he was network level 250 and using keep sprint. I'll show you guys a clip of that right now that I saved just to clear this up. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Dude! Dude, that was so blatant. I've... I didn't think it was that bad, holy. And because the game took so long to fill, the bee hopper just ended up leaving anyway, and nothing happened. Like, we didn't get a free kill because of a bee hopper, we didn't get a free win, and we lost that game too. I guess asking someone to kill someone else could be against the rules, but that seems like a really weird rule to, like, 
justify a boosting ban. So yeah, that's the only thing that we did wrong throughout the entire tournament. I thought we did something really bad and I was like apologizing on Twitter about like something to do with a bee hopper. But that's it, one chat message, nothing happened out of it and we didn't get any points from it. There was one game where a bee hopper slash hubbed, but we had no contact with him whatsoever and the admins know that, which is why they didn't say anything to me about it. We didn't message him or anything and it was obviously just not to do with us and the points that we actually got from that game wouldn't have made any difference to our positioning too. Hey, yeah. But yeah, that game right there is what my teammate is actually banned for, like his message says boosting and it's from that game. But yeah, I think now I've pretty much explained everything, like you guys probably have the full story. If people still want to come for me, I literally don't care, like it's whatever. I've cleared my name to everyone who's reasonable, and if you've made it to the end of the video, then thank you for hearing me out, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Videos should be returning back to normal since I'm not banned on the server, but I would just encourage those people who initially like jumps on the bandwagon of just cancelling speed silver to just think a bit more, because why would I sacrifice a 210k YouTube channel for like $50 worth of Blitz coins. Like I know it would have made a good video, but I could have pulled more views playing Skyblock if that's what I wanted. I literally just find competitive games fun, like that's just what I do. So that's why I played this tournament, like I didn't expect to make a video out of it at all. I didn't really care about getting number one, but we just got it anyway. Me and Sean are just built different, okay? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching that video. Um, I genuinely, this has been like one of the most stressful few days, so I guess like leave a like or a comment or something. Um, I was actually rock climbing yesterday when I got banned and like my heart dropped. I had to like go home early. Dude, it was actually quite stressful. Like I probably act quite monotone and unemotional in my videos, but I actually do have emotions. So I mean, yeah, I'm glad this is finally over and hopefully it won't cancel my YouTube career. Also, I might do my face reveal on Saturday instead, but if not, it'll be at 4 p.m. EST. I'll make a community community tab post about it so just stay updated I guess. But I've literally had to spend the entire day making this video so I mean I haven't really had much time. Anyway that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later. Peace.